disturbing allegations tonight from three families in the Wake County town of Wendell. Thank you for joining us. I'm Gerald Owens and I'm Deborah Morgan. Families have reported to police sexual assault involving children attending a daycare. WRL's Chelsea Donovan joins us now live tonight. Chelsea. Wendell police told me last week they started receiving reports of this alleged sexual assault taking place at a daycare here, a longtime daycare, one that's been here in town for more than 40 years. Just yesterday, they received yet another report, and that's why that's when they decided to call in the SBI to investigate. It's here that three parents allege that their children were sexually assaulted by an employee of the ABC Land Daycare on Raymond Drive in Wendell. Wendell police tell me two reports were filed with their department on January the 4th. Almost a week later, yesterday, police received a third sexual assault complaint against the same employee. Wendell police tell me all three children involved are three years old. I spoke to the mother of a three-year-old who filed a police report yesterday and she says my three-year-old told me that he was touched in a private area by a male employee at nap time. I confronted the owner and she denied it. To my knowledge today, the employee is still at the daycare. The parent went on to say that the alleged assault took place the week before Christmas and her child is currently seeing a forensic psychologist. Today I went to the daycare to ask the owner about the allegations regarding one of her employees. Hi. Hey, I'm just looking for the owner of the daycare. And that would be me, and I don't have time to talk to you. Yeah, the daycare has been in operation since 1979, according to their website, and they have two locations in Wendell. It's listed as a five-star facility caring for children from newborns to 12 years old. The public can view results of inspections and any violations online for daycares registered with the state. Recent violations from ABC Land in December were related to paperwork, with some employees not being up to date on required orientation and training procedures. Now, no charges have yet been filed. The SBI tells me today this investigation is ongoing. Deborah, Chelsea Donovan live in Wendell. Thank you, Chelsea.